Today we are going to discuss about how to create a relation. Now in the last video we talked about different types of objects and one thing some of you have asked me uh, is uh, this L. Now L represents a measure. So for example you would see that um, you know so this is a cells query subject. Now any of the and these are query items. So any of the query items which will be a fact, meaning uh, it will have some numbers which will you will show come up the report. They they will typically have something called else, which represents a measure. So for example, you know, that example of measures are uh, for a, for a cells table. It would be a cell amount or a, or a um, number of cells. It's some sort of a numbers uh, which should um, which should show up in the reports on the main body of the report. Now, for, but sale date or a sales agent name, these would not be a measure. Measures tend to be always something for numbers. So it could be an inventory amount, a sales amount, and they would typically will have a L. Now, what are these three, uh, you know, uh, three pronged uh, colorful uh, thing which you see? These are typically associated with a, something called dimension. So, for example, if you are plotting the the sales amount by agents, then your agent name would be a dimension. Or it could be uh, if you want to uh, show sales volume across regions, so your region name would be dimension. Okay. So now let's talk about um, relations. Now, before we get that, something I would like to show. So let's say after you. Um, after you do the query, after you build your model and get the basic query subjects created through the wizard, you can test and see how it got created. So you can do at any level, you can click and then you can right click and you can do something called test. So if you run a test, it will go to the underlining database and it will try to run the query which is represented by the underlining uh, uh, table. So here you can do test sample so here what it is it is trying to connect to the database and it's trying to retrieve the rows so it's taking a little bit of time because i think the the connection um, goes over the network and it's kind of a little slow. Okay, let me cancel it. Uh, I think and we'll try again. Okay, so finally I think the results came. So what you see here is the um, the actually the just the extraction extract from the our uh, sales table. Now if we here's something called total rows. So typically if your table has more than let's say uh, 100 rows or 10,000 rows it will give a sample so here you can you know set that uh, options so here it says 25 so you can make it 250 or more uh, depending on how much rows you want to uh, get it in the sample so that's so the object the point of showing that is to sort of showing you a way so that you can validate your uh, model to see you know if uh, things are being retrieved properly. Now where this would be useful where you have relations. So for example, um, now let's talk about relations. So we have uh, agent ID from the agents table and agent ID from this they have a relation. So let's now create and we say relationships. 
Now remember, if your database has primary foreign key relations already inbuilt, when you create the model using the uh, wizard at uh, uh, it, in here it gets those relations. But but in our example, since we did not have the relations, uh, we are defining we are defining it here. Now depending on the situation, you may wish to import or may not import the relations and define within Cognos the relations or you can import some and then define more relations within uh, Cognos so you know depending on a situation you can do various things so here we already have uh, you know as you see Cognos has already uh, recognized the agent ID and it has already created this uh, relation so, uh, now other thing is that you have to define the cardinality now let's look at it carefully what it says here is that each so here it says one is to one meaning it represents the left box what that means is that each cells has one and only one agent so which is pretty much you know the the case in our you know in our simple model where we say that each cell could be only connected with one agent now and then this side it says each agent sends one or more cells now for example but you can be a situation where it could be an agent can be having zero cells right so we should select zero n so that as you select zero n, this also statement gets modified so now it says each agent has zero or more cells so let's look at all the options in the drop down so where you have one is to n one is to one zero is to n and zero is to one so i think you know this these things are self-explanatory uh, only thing you have to be careful is you now which side represents zero, which side represents n, and then operators you have zero equal to greater than etc. Uh, for typical most of the cases you would you know have the uh, you will keep these as equals to n. You will play with these numbers. One is to one, zero is to n. Okay. So now let's okay. Now before you hit okay, you can uh, look at the relationship SQL, which is pretty straightforward. So here it is just showing you the join and since our in particular case it is a 0 or n you see it is doing a outer join so you know those of you who are familiar with the database and SQL probably know what is the outer join um, so we uh, once we press ok then Cognos would create the relation now after creating the relation what you should do you should test the relation now to test the relation, the way to test is you should maybe click um, you know, agent and name column and then try to join the with the cells and then do right click and test. So what we are doing is that we are picking a few columns from each of the tables and really running a test to verify if our join has been a created um, and was that the right join to create so as you see uh, it looks fine it is you know it is underlining queries it's simply joining these two tables uh, through the the join through the agent ID join you created so you have uh, so that the, the, it looks you know the desired result uh, I mean basically what you are verifying here is that you, you are assuming you know joining these two uh, these two tables with a outer join and then as you see few cells people don't have any cells so they have um, zero and you can see also the underlying query so underlying query in you know, a Cognos has its own represented own SQL but also it has also the the native version of the SQL which is the the database so let's create uh, one more join uh, so for example we have uh, region and here okay and on the agent also we have region so create relationship then we have so each regions can only have only one and one region and each region has one or more regions it could be also zero or more so that's our so that's um, you know that's about the relations um, so let's recap the relations quickly so relations can be defined can be inherited from our your underlying model where if you have primary key foreign key relations defined 
or you may um, and also you can create them within Cognos um, you can have several combination of these two you can inherit some from the database you can add more um, while creating relation please don't forget to test and to see all the relations you have created you can double click at a namespace level and it will show you all the relations so in our particular case you have seen these are we have four query subjects and we have two relations and if you click here it will show you the then click edit